Hi y'all, my name is Jessie Bayless and I'm the current Gerald Elementary Art Teacher for Gasconade County R2 Schools. I would like to read you this recommendation letter that I wrote for Connie for her two National Art Teacher and Awards that she won and I'm so very proud to know her. And I'm reading the letter on video because I can become a little bit of a blubbering mess when it comes to emotional things in front of lots of people. Let me, let me start. <laughs> I have known Connie Shoemaker for the past 20 years. If I may, I would like to tell you a story. I met Ms. Shoemaker while I was a senior in high school. My past art teacher, that had been my art teacher since I was in kindergarten, had just left for a college position. The students took this change, as you can imagine, not well. I would like to say I was handling the change differently while embracing the opportunities of a new instructor would provide, but it didn't take long for me to jump on the bandwagon and cause quite the uprising. As a newer teacher, Ms. Shoemaker was exploring and implementing exciting new art education methods that we were collectively ambushing. As the year went on, she was asked to be our new cheer coach. Since a past cheer coach was asked to resign, this position was, well, it held even more tribulations. The end of the year, I, along with many others, had made my ill feelings known towards her at no fault of her own. We were rebellious and unapologetic, as teenagers will be. She remained stoic and continued to push us ac academically. Right out of high school, I married and I went to live in Germany for three years. I faced my own tribulations and many of them, as you can imagine. There came a time a couple years into adulthood that I found myself calling back home to this sweet woman called back to school, to Connie. I can't tell you what exactly brought me to this decision, but the sweet woman took her class time to talk to me. Not I'll call you back. She took the time from thousands of miles away to be sure that this confused and scared young woman was okay. Jump ahead 10 years. I was in college learning to be an art teacher. I had talked to Connie since that, I had not talked to Connie since that memorable phone call. I was pursuing my dream as, to become an te art teacher and had grown so very much. I remember sitting in the computer lab at the college researching our contents national and state organization per one of the education professors when I saw Connie Shoemaker, president elect of MAEA. So many questions raced through my mind. Would she remember me? Would she hold a grudge for so many times, time consuming trials? I was attending the fall con conference soon in Nav, and I was hesitant with all the unknown. Connie didn't skip a beat to embrace me, excited that I was entering, entering this exhilarating world of art education with her. The mentoring, understanding, and empathy hasn't stopped. I am currently finishing up my fourth year teaching elementary art, and I am already showing signs of taking a lead role in our profession. This was made possible with Connie's influence and guidance. I have found through my now grown and professional eyes that she takes any opportunity to encourage the next generation of art educators, pushing their pedagogy and supporting their artistic and academic endeavors, and she is building leaders. Her passion for arts advocacy at the state level is unmatched. She is currently keeping us abreast to the latest art education regulations, policies, and bills, and what is happening on the Hill. I know my personal story is not an isolated one. I have had many educators come through my life. I've worked with a lot of educators, and Connie is one of the greats. She is deserving of this award and so many more. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed our story. Enjoy the rest of conference, and I'm so very proud of you, Connie.